In our lives, we all have a favorite toy. When you are small, it could be a toy car. When you are in your 30s, it could be your favorite ride. Today I'm going to show you how I gave extra couple of years of life to my friend on wheels so that you can also do the same. This is a 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. All of its life it was destined to run on snow and salt every year for last 14 years. As humans, our work will also need some love and care to keep it running for years. I purchased it 6 months back on my birthday as a birthday gift and I should say not purchased i saved it it uh, from the previous owner as he took no care of this vehicle as you can see from my video channel sl- slowly and steadily i am reviving it engine run strong but as you can see the undercarriage was rusting away and here i stopped it disclaimer i am a software engineer i have no clue how to deal with rust and things i did my research for last 3 months figured out the best product and the practices and here is how i did it my budget was less than 100 bucks but surprisingly it only cost me using product quantity worth of less than 30 so professional charging 1000 and up i thought to make it little personal between me and my black rhino and here is the story as you can see it is almost rusted you can it's there are flaky stuff everywhere and this is how i fixed it Uh, all you need is actually a wire brush if you have a wire brush that's good otherwise use this thing it'll be much more easier that way make sure you actually cover your nose and everything before you trying to do this first peel away all the rust as much as you can you don't need to be perfect i am actually holding <laughs> camera in one hand and uh, trying to operate that stuff but it is much more easier if you actually use your both hands and i actually used a rust converter i will show you all the products which i used in the video but you don't need to be perfect you don't need to take out all the rust you can actually just clear as much as you can as you have seen i just did for 10 minutes and all these flakes actually falling off it was a scary feeling <laughs> same time it was fun too to know that the bad stuff is actually coming out so i cleaned it as much as i can i have seen there is a lot of rust as i mentioned previous owner took no care of this vehicle so here i am actually doing it slowly and steadily removing the rust as much as i can since i am actually not planning to do anything directly on top of it just like paint removing the rust should be removing some part of part of rust should be working okay so here is it the frame is not looking that bad but it is bad it's as you can see the under part it is all rusted out not rusted out i can see some real good surface rust this is me oh, i'm trying to show you in dark okay here you go uh you have to take really good care of yourself i can see my hands is become just dirty in 30 minutes you have to wear safety goggles make sure you wear safety goggles and actually some type of a mask something to protect and make sure to cover your ears and put a cap as well Uh, that will actually keep you safe from rust it is not good to inhale rust so make sure to cover yourself protect uh, properly and protect yourself properly before doing anything like this as i mentioned i am not a pro professional in any means so i'm just trying to revive with this vehicle without spending too much of money on my driveway especially So once you actually flake out all the rust make sure to get a pressure washer just if you don't have one get it from your friend this actually worked out great trust me i it, i tried the pressure washer and it took the flakes away right away like that it it was much better, better than me using that wire brush for in my scenario for the flakes okay just for the flakes so uh, flakes i mean the the previous the oem paint which was painted on to, top of these things it actually flakes away because the rust goes in underneath 
so it will flake away if you use a pressure washer just point it towards it and uh, using high pressure it will just take all those flakes down you don't need to put any type of coating or anything on that flake because the rust is beneath it so whatever you put it will actually won't take any effect on your vehicle so if you don't have a pressure washer i strongly recommend you to get it from somebody and it will actually clean uh, it will have a clean surface as well to make your vehicle clean so that you can actually paint on it or do the next process on it i would not recommend actually painting anything i will actually come back to that uh, later in this video uh, here i am cleaning all the work under under carriage of the vehicle and I'm so happy to see that it was all the flakes were going away by using the pressure washer. And here it is clean. Almost clean, I should say. The, the part where actually the rest mainly are, that's the place where I cleaned it properly. Then actually I just uh, drove it for 2-3 kilometers. Then I parked it so that it will dry. Make sure that you're under uh, the bottom part of the vehicle is properly dried before you doing anything on it. Don't try to do any type of rust coating or anything uh, when the vehicle is wet. Looks like it is much better than uh, previously. All the surface, all the rust on the surface is kind of gone. It is now the rust proper rust there. Okay, this is actually the product which I use. is called a rust. Uh, converter I got it from amazon.ca if you are listening from US or anywhere else and if you have access to Corosil I may suggest actually go with Corosil because uh, I have seen great reviews but in Canada it's cost about 200 bucks I didn't want to send, spend that much money so the second best product in amazon.ca was this product actually this is the first best product listed in amazon.ca in amazon.com it was a Corosil and everywhere I see Corosil had better remarks but I will actually share I will glad to tell you that this thing worked really amazingly well so I didn't had anything just like a sprayer or something like that so I just took the tire shine uh, bottle so because I just want to spray it uh, that's what I was thinking when I actually uh, took that thing so I took the Rust Converter Ultra, which I bought from Amazon for 70 bucks or something like that. It got delivered just in two days. Uh, it was quick enough and I had great uh, reviews. As you can see, I thought it may be just a water type thing, but it is a white, creamy, little bit of creamy type stuff. What it does is actually it uh, does the chemical reaction on the rust and it will convert it into a paintable surface. So it is a rust converter by some chemical reaction. So uh, that's why actually I didn't took too much effort to take all the rust away because I know this, this uh, product will actually convert whatever rust left back there to a paintable surface. It will kill it and it will convert to something black. You will see that actually here. So if you have, if you buy this product, make sure that if you get a spray can, this is I'm reusing a tire shine as I mentioned previously. Uh, don't want to go and spend another bucks, actually a couple of bucks to buy a scan. Anyway, uh, you will see that um, it didn't work as I, I was expecting it to spray like a foam. It was perfectly fine. But when I sprayed, I saw, okay, that is just like throwing the water just like that or throwing the, uh, the product just like that. Then what I did actually, I just uh, I had um, a paint brush. So I just use, make use of it. I just sprayed it properly, sprayed everywhere, not everywhere, at a portion at a time. And then I used paint brush actually to apply it everywhere. And surprisingly, I just want to let you know that I only used it was a gallon that uh, rust converter was a gallon of uh, um, gallon but i only used about i should say about 30 percent or no no not even 30 yeah 30 percent of the complete product so i only used less than product worth maybe 20 bucks 
So I have another two vehicles. I'm planning to use that on those vehicles as well. Here I am actually applying it. This is actually a big part. If you don't have a proper sprayer or anything like that, and if you are just using, reusing any sprayer a bottle, which you actually got, I strongly recommend you to get a paintbrush and get under the vehicle and uh, start uh, coating it properly. And please be liberal on the product because you really need that. I, I try to actually just uh, spray a little bit and see how it actually went, but definitely you need, uh, that's what I figured out as well. So make sure that you spray to every nook and corner so this, uh, that particular product will reach there. Once it is there, then uh, yeah, it will start its own magic and you will see that. Um, what I found, I thought it will actually right away change everything to black, dark and everything, but that didn't happen. Of course, that is my mistake. I thought like that I should have better known how the chemical reactions work. It actually changed that complete rest to first in first 10, 15 minutes. It's changed to a purple color. All the rest changed to a purple color that I know is some type of for us. I don't know if you are a chemical genius, please feel free to actually comment below. Uh, I have nothing to do with the chemical things. So anyway, I painted it and after some time, it actually slowly started changing it. They recommended two coats of stuff on it. Um, and actually you can only paint after 48 hours. That's what they mentioned. So here I am actually doing the coat. It's not an easy process and uh, you have to make sure that the product is everywhere. And uh, when you jack up the vehicle, make sure that you are safe. Please don't take any risk. Um, get a proper jack or something. I had that ramp type thing, which I drove in reverse, reverse onto that, as you can see there. It actually gave me a good clearance. I could actually sit, I am 6.1, I could sit under the vehicle easily, there wasn't an issue. The only thing that you have to cover yourself, he, here is the, after the first coat and after three or four hours, it actually changed the color of the rest to a paintable surface, I guess. You can see, you cannot see the rest, but you can see where the rest was. It is not like it is, it didn't change everything to a black color, no, no. that. That's not how it works. If you think it that way, no, that's not how it works. It will actually change, take all the rest and convert to something else. And if you, this is a close video, right? If you actually look from a little far, it, it looks completely turned to black. It looks great as well. So I didn't actually stop it there. Actually, I took uh, one extra step. I did, I think I, I think I did three court for the entire undercarriage and as I mentioned it uh, it only consumed 30 30 percent or 35 percent of the entire product of that that means that gallon so it is worth spending that money on that particular product that's what I think uh, that's what it actually showed to me as well it was uh, uh, as I mentioned it's called uh, press converter ultra you can see that in amazon.ca I will leave a review there as well with my thoughts. See, if you see from distance, it is all turned to be black. And here is after I caught, you can see all the rest now turned to a little brownish color. If somebody is keen enough to actually uh, crawl under the under, <laughs> under the vehicle and try to see whether, the, whether there is an rest or not, that person will be able to see that there was rest and now it actually everything turned to a brownish color. I kind of just <laughs> sprayed everywhere. Uh, just wonder wherever I found the rest, just sprayed. And there is actually uh, the rock lights as you have seen I'll actually make a video of that as well, how I installed the rock lights. It looks actually really great. As well. 
yeah it is actually looking far 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 better than how it was earlier previously people can see that it was a rust bucket just by looking from far now no though now it is actually looking much better and this is after the second coat and after two days i did two coats i have seen actually many people spending so much money to do with the professionals and come on it is your work and they are not going to do exactly take take time and do everything it took me at uh, for the first coat it might took took me half an hour to 45 minutes or the second same and to remove the rust or to brush away the rust and the clear clean to the water it took me another one hour <clears throat> so all i think so far i spend about 2 hours or 2 and a half hours that that's pretty much it and the results is great you can actually leave it this way and i have seen so many people painting over it with the popor 15 and everything but i couldn't actually find justify myself because that's not how the rust really works it will come back again at some point so if you have paint over that rust with this it turned to be a paintable surface but actually i don't want to go that route so i went with fluid film so it had great reviews great reviews so i really want to go with that and i have seen actually some only one product which i think i think i am not sure may work better than this is crc 06206 that's what i think uh, but i out of 190 people recommended this and everybody was having great reviews about this fluid film so i thought okay why not so i looked in amazon it was 100 it was yeah it was 100 bucks for a gallon then i actually checked in um, uh local stores and i found a great deal it was actually 33% off so i just went and bought it it's only cost me 60 bucks and i expected this to be a little more filmy type thing It means this is more clear but it wasn't clear it, it was full of surprise for me anyway i actually bought another rest uh, a spray can as well the spray can is wherever i cannot my paint brush won't go there i really want to actually uh, spray it as you can see i'm just trying to shake it very well assuming it to just look like a fluid film the name says it's just like a film so it's a transparent so that wasn't the case and here i am actually trying to open the bottle with uh, <laughs> with one hand so bear with me it will take a, it will take a while <laughs> so uh, regarding the other one actually so make sure that you buy a spray can as well because there are some places your paint brush may not go there are some so you need to actually um with that small nozzle there you will be able to reach those places and actually you can make sure it is protected as well so it cost only 5 bucks or me here the, the same store had a deal on that as well and i might have used half of it that's that's pretty much it and when i open the fluid film can it uh, came to my surprise that it is not just fluid it's just like it's like a gel that's what i i felt um or is it actually old product i don't know it was on sale so and i never used it i never saw it earlier so i think it looks like this so please actually try not to paint it uh, i am not a professional i don't know much but from my research i found that it is better to oil it than painting it when you paint it if you have in properly uh, uh, cleared the rust it will actually grow back in the back if you see por 15 that is one of the best product actually for painting on rust there are many videos people are actually showing the rust is growing back of it once it paint it actually seals so the rust will grow 
beneath it and you will never know you cannot see that anymore here in this case actually you can visibly see what is going on and i i thought i need to use a lot of this uh, fluid film but that thing actually a small scoop went a long way a long way so here i'm actually applying all that um, uh, fluid film to the places where i think uh, i need some extra love again make take take your time make sure that uh, make sure to reach all the places with that fluid film think of that actually this is this will this will this will extend your vehicle's life as well and you are doing a favor for your vehicle um, with my toyota i know that even the even though the the frame falls down the engine will be good so i'm trying to extend the life of the frame and the undercarriage so that it will last a little more while so that i can enjoy my work i love my fj cruiser i have a rav4 and a forerunner but after i got this i am in love with that <laughs> so i'm trying to save it could be same for your work class well if you if you have a rust bucket try this you can do everything whatever i showed you here in 3 days and it will take you less than 4 hours if you are an expert if you are a handyman and if you have the proper tools trust me it won't even take 4 hours that's what i think from my experience and here i am not doing a perfect job no don't take me as any professional doing a perfect job no here i am trying to do what i learned from last 3 months after watching all the video after going through all the forums and everything and my intention is to do this again after 2 or 3 years or maybe yeah 2 or 3 years depends upon how severe the winter will be if you are in a place where it is dry and everything you don't need to actually worry for next 3 4 years but here in canada where i live it snows very badly and road is covered with salt and grime and everything so i may have to do this again after 2 years but this is the first time actually somebody is doing on this work after 14 years 14 years so the next time i think it will be much more easier and i'm i'm planning to do this the moment i see actually this oil fill the fluid film wants out or actually fade away planning to actually do that 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 time and i have seen some videos actually people applying the uh, fluid film and actually doing the pressure washer and it it still stood strong so i'm not going to pressure washer underneath my vehicle for at least next to one one or two years and this is actually the perfect time if most of us are actually working from home and everything so you may have a little extra time in your hand then why not make use of it right and you don't want to take it to a professional to do any of this type of job if you have money yeah go ahead please you can sandblast it or dry ice it and uh, do all those fancy thing but here um, i just got this vehicle for peanuts so i don't want to spend too much money on it just trying to extend the life of it so that i can enjoy as you can see i miss some of the spots but that's okay it is better than nothing so how much time it take you take to prepare your vehicle and spray it properly remove the rest wash it properly and actually apply the rust converter and apply the fluid film or crz0206 that will actually reward you a lot here i'm actually using that spray can stuff so it will reach the tough to reach places and i enjoy doing this process except that uh, removing the rust it was it was nasty and make sure if you use any of this product i am not using glove i think you should use gloves as well if possible i used a safety glass my god you won't even believe if you are touching the rust touching or doing anything with rust make sure you put that safety glass it will protect your eyes and any time you do any of this any of these three products make sure you wear safety glasses 
and if possible a mask as well to safeguard you from uh, this bad smell it that fluid film <laughs> that smell was disgusting at least for me i actually did this on my driveway and it was a windy day so it was not that really bad make sure do not do this in a closed environment please make sure to do it in an open environment where the winds actually wind is, wind will take some of that uh, smell away or that chemical stuff away and if the wind is blowing towards your face don't do it park your vehicle in the opposite direction and let the wind take that smell and uh, residue away from you and here i am actually almost done with um, uh doing the fluid film and wherever i saw that i missed a little bit of um uh rust converter type thing then i sprayed it, sprayed it there as well and if you look from far it looks great it looks like a black shiny stuff but if you come really close then you can see there is still you can see that uh, rust stuff there but there is no rust now there there is nothing to be worried of no, nothing to be worried of type of rust i kind of took care of all those and uh, i can't see if there is coming back or not if i am not painting it since i used oil or the, this film if i am actually if i paint this it could it could may it may look good but i don't know what is actually going on beneath it right so i try not to use pour 15 or any type of rubberized paints no no don't please don't do that here is the friend it was almost all rested out but here it all changed and looks better now i think i my work will go to a couple more years to his life and a couple more years of fun so if you are actually planning to do it on your vehicle follow the same step whichever vehicle it could be no problem uh, just follow the same steps and uh, it will extend the life of your vehicle as you know if you want to some people will just uh, give it away just uh, think okay this is a rust bucket and don't want to deal with it no just take 4 hours you might be saving thousands of dollars and if your vehicle is good your engine is good then why not just give it a try so if i could do it i have no experience with rust cleaning or anything like that if i could do this then you will be able to do a better job so if you like this i am actually plan to share more videos on like this and uh, for for and everything please subscribe and take care stay safe bye bye